Hello, I'm Maddie Nicholson, I'm the artist, founder, director of Art Gene. I just want to welcome you to the place exhibition, Rediscover Barrow. This is an exhibition about the history of Barrow and Furness from Duke Street to the Town Hall, looking at how artists interpret the history of our area. The bags are decorated with symbols of notable businesses on Duke Street and they were made almost as an antidote to the other work that I was producing. The bags were a lovely donation from a local chip shop. This is a game of community and chance where instead of accumulating wealth you do the exact opposite. It's around doing good things in the community and then gaining community credits. My name's Colin Aldred of Aerial Artwork and I've been fortunate to be involved in two very different films in this exhibition. The first was a real collaborative effort coordinated and scripted by Art Gene. It used research, audio, photos and narration from countless local people telling the story of Duke Street. My role was to provide the background video and the editing. The second film was commissioned by the Liverpool Philharmonic and first shown at their inaugural concert at the Forum. I was allowed the freedom to take a more personal approach, contrasting the town centre with the wonderful surrounding landscape and nature. These were the signs I painted for the People's Museum of Barrow. I went in heavy on the yellow ochre acrylic with red to try and make that earthy, rusty colour of the iron ore at the very foundation of Barrow's story. The mummy's hand, memories of this withered brown hand, featured heavily in people's memories of the old museum. But its whereabouts are now a mystery, so we summon it up in video form. So it takes on a holographic appearance. The curate cabinet uses some creative coding to twist your reflection about. It's inspired by experiments in early television. Part of the department store on Duke Street prided itself on selling the latest audio-visual wares, so it felt like a perfect fit. This piece is about Barrow Public Hall, which was the dance hall around the back of the town hall. Goodness knows how many hundreds of thousands of Barrovians must have been through those doors. And um, every one of them will have had a story. Now, the story I have here came from Pat Jones. She told me how one day she went to the public hall dancing with her friends. And she met her husband, Alan, and he was six foot four and she was five foot one. And he asked her to dance. And I thought, well, there's a story right away. Based on local recollections of Duke Street, Wishbone starts at the Sankey Photography Shop in the late 1950s and follows a young woman who lives and works on Duke Street as she pursues her lifelong dream into the present where she becomes a photographer. So the opening evening of Place on Friday the 9th of February 2024 was extremely well attended. Visitors were able to experience the exhibits and enjoy drinks and nibbles provided by Russ, our local cook. I welcomed everyone to the opening of the show, introduced the Art Gene team who had worked tirelessly to get the show ready and thanked sponsors of the exhibition and the project. There were short speeches by council officials, councillor Dr Virginia Taylor and Rory Wood of Westlands and Furness Council, and then the town mayor, Chris Altry, formally opened the exhibition. And then we had speeches by Julie O'Neill, who's exhibiting in the floor below, and Sarah Hardacre, artist in residence for Art Jean, who did large works in the gallery exhibition. The work in the exhibition, this exhibition, 
all the other things that we are, is a continuation of my research regarding identity work, home spaces, legacy, and in this instance, is influenced by a brief glimpse of a barrow and its surroundings. Observing how nature and industry sit side by side, harmoniously or otherwise, perhaps married with notions of how identity of community may morph or be molded over time, persuaded by external factors.